PlayStation DualShock 4 controller and a ThinkPad. They probably shouldn't be seen together, but they work. You can use this with Steam and play games. And you might be thinking, Kai, why are you showing me about games when you care about open source? Well, listen, you've got to be excited about computing, right? When I first got into computing as a kid, I played games, you know, I, Quake World, Doom 2. Uh, these are a huge part of my early childhood and that got me sort of like using computers and interested in computers and now computers is, well, my career and stuff. And I just wanted to enthuse anyone who's thinking that, oh, I need to uh, game, I can only game on Windows. It's not true. You can game on Steam. And I can even show you how you can play Windows games on Steam too. Come on. First off, you need to install Bluetooth, run the service, and then BlueZ Utils, and then you need to go power on. Turn on the device. It should just go solid color if it actually works. Oh yeah, it's paired. So that's what you need to do once you've established a pairing and trust. And that's how easy it is to set up the, the controller. The next thing you need to do is make sure you have uh, game devices UDEV installed. This, for some reason, sets up the right permissions. God knows why this device doesn't have, you know, accessible uh, permissions to begin with, despite me being in the input group. Anyway, one of those little things, right? And then let me just launch uh, Flatpak Steam. It has a nice D menu entry. Okay, this is Steam in DWM. Let me first show you that there's an awesome compatibility mode between um, Linux and Windows. It's called Proton. So this game, I, I mentioned before, Companies Heroes 2, I mentioned before it was, I couldn't play, you can't play between Mac and Linux and Windows machines, but with Proton, you can emulate a Windows machine and the game just runs perfectly. So all I did was go to the bottom here um, and choose for, uh, the latest Proton. There's also a, a, a Proton DB where they, they advise some extra settings that you might need and, and I put them over here. So with these settings, I can play a Windows game on Arch. Superb. As you can see, it just works flawlessly. The DualShock 4 controller and Piku Niku. A great game which I can recommend. So if you're not really convinced about Arch Linux, I urge you to consider it a really nice sort of gaming platform. You know, you don't have to worry about all the freaking Windows spyware and you know, it's a nightmare to install Windows if you don't have it um, pre-installed whatever. I think Arch is a great way to play games, even with wireless controllers. I'm astonished too. I mean, I only got this working a couple of days ago. I'm just, it's amazing. It, it, I had to basically give up gaming when I got onto my ThinkPad uh, Linux journey, but now you don't have to. So that's pretty awesome, right? Please like the video, please subscribe for more and uh, share the video. Yeah, that might help. That might help. <laughs> Bye.